So we have a story here by Your Web, which stands for Electronic Urban Report. And uh, let me begin by saying I have no problem with uh, with the interracial dating, but here's here's the issue, and it's a repeated pattern uh, showing that uh, these these young black men who get in these relationships with with white women, uh, as the, the stars and and the athletes, uh, those. Uh, marriages tend to uh, not last very long, and the white woman usually ends up with a nice payday. And it's no different with this case. I'm talking about uh, Robert Griffin III, um, who was with the uh, Washington uh, Redskins. He's now with the uh, Cleveland Browns. Um, it, so it says, uh, Robert Griffin III and his wife have pulled the plug on their marriage. The Cleveland Browns quarterback and his college sweetheart, Rebecca Liddicote, have been separated for the past several months or are in the process of filing for a divorce, according to Cleveland.com. The couple married on July 6th, 2013, and last year saw the birth of their first child daughter, Reese Ann Griffin. The former Washington quarterback, however, told his teammates and coaches that they have filed for divorce and the entire organization has been supportive. According to TMZ, RG3 has already scrubbed his Instagram page of all traces of Rebecca, per Cleveland.com. Sources said that it's been a difficult time for Griffin, but that he's working through it with the help of friends and family. The two were introduced by a mutual friend at Baylor in 2009, and Griffin proposed in October of 2010 in the school's fire field house following the Bears' 47-42 victory over Kansas State. They were married three years ago at the Denver Four Seasons, Colorado, because Liddicote is a native of Boulder. Wedding guests included Baylor coach Art Bryles, Redskins owner Daniel Schneider, and Redskins teammate, teammates Kirk Cousins, London Fletcher, Santana Moss, and Pierre Garcon. Despite what Griffin's been going through, he's become a strong vocal leader that Hugh Jackson wanted. He's managed to compartmentalize his personal and professional lives and not let the situation negatively impact him on the job. Again, this story was by Your Web, uh, Electronic Urban Report. So for the young brothers out there, uh, this is a continuing pattern. Please be very selective. Please be very selective because what it what it appears like is that, you know, these white women are getting paydays, uh, basically, so to speak. And again, this reminds me of another situation uh, when they say that he was introduced to uh, Rebecca. Well, wasn't uh, Tiger Woods introduced to his wife? Uh, again, those introductions and now divorce, you know, she's going to get paid. She's about to get paid. Um, it seems like that's that's the pattern. So my name is Yurima Karama at Your Black World News.